Hello everyone, and welcome back to All Things Space. Laws of physics have always intrigued people. Whether it's a movie or real life, laws of physics go way beyond just the theoretical stuff that we read in textbooks. When we talk about physics, a whole different dimension of things opens up. NASA can be the sole flag bearer of it all, and it continues to come up with different discoveries and breathtaking new things. The latest we hear is that NASA finally reveals a new helical engine that breaks the laws of physics. Let's get into it! Number 5. Covering Astronomical Distances It has been four centuries since humans discovered a phenomenal thing, which blew their minds away. The discovery stated that all the stars in the universe are actually suns. When the night arrives and the stars come out in our skies, they're not actually stars, but are actually suns, just like the one that comes up every morning in our sky. When it is revealed that a star is actually a sun, then the speculations arise that it might also have its own solar system, planets, as well as life. There's also enough evidence for it since a sun must have something to revolve around. Like many other dreams that humans want to achieve, crossing astronomical distances that separate us from the aliens' objects is surely at the top of their list. However, the distance that humans aim to cover is huge. Even the nearest star is four light years away. NASA also has it in its achievement to decipher the speed required to cover this distance at the fastest speed possible. The fastest speed is 46 miles per second, which is achieved by NASA's Juno mission. This is the fastest speed a human-created spacecraft could ever achieve. At this speed, one would need around 4,000 years to reach the stars. The only way right now that one can cover this distance is probably in fictional works, like novels or movies, because covering this distance is humanly impossible considering how average human life just a tiny chunk of the time required to get to the nearest star. Number 4. The Limiting Factors When scientists working at NASA are unable to achieve something that has been there to solve on their plates for years, there must be some limiting factors involved. There are two main limiting factors. These include the current limits of our technology as well as the laws of physics. To get over the first limitation, advances in fields like laser sails, nuclear propulsion, and producing or controlling antimatter or dark matter could really help improve things and change the whole game. This could be a huge technology breakthrough, but achieving it cannot be seen in the near future. Technologies which could defy physics are called physics-defying technologies, and these are considered to be a part of the future advanced scientists aim to make. However, this might not be possible for them as of now. The reason behind this not being achievable is that these technologies are fundamentally flawed. To break it down for you, there are four fundamental forces in the universe which include gravitation, electromagnetism, along with strong and weak nuclear forces. General relativity is what describes the science behind gravitation. This one theory has been successful in passing all the observational and experimental tests that have been performed on it. The standard model supports the other three forces. This model basically depicts the interactions all the known particles have between them. This theory passes every quantum and classical test that has been performed on it. There is a future potential available that could make space travel possible. These include fission, fusion, and annihilation of exotic particles with matter available all around us. Number 3. Action and Reaction As we all know, every action has an equal reaction. This is a physics principle that everyone is taught in school. It's also the principle that all the space rockets operate on. The science behind the traveling of space rockets is that it blasts the propellant in one direction, which helps it travel in the opposite direction. The action here is blasting the propellant, while the reaction is the space rocket operating, i.e. traveling away into space. What if we tell you that this law of physics that you have been believing in your whole life is being defied by an engineer, and it's not just any other engineer, but one that works at NASA? The credibility of NASA surely adds to the believability factor of what the engineer aims to convey. There is one engineer at NASA who believes that he could take humankind to the stars without having to follow this law of physics. This means that he doesn't need a propellant for the purpose of traveling in space. It's quite clear and obvious that somebody who works at NASA wouldn't just make any claim in the air. If there is an engineer who thinks that he can defy the law of physics, which states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, then he must have solid support points backing this claim up. Doesn't it sound mind-blowing that the spacecrafts would no longer need propellant in order to operate? It sure does. 
The fact that it is not just happening in a fictional world and has reliable people and technology backing it adds to the intrigue factor of it all. Number 2. NASA's Helical Engine David Burns is the man behind it all. He has successfully designed an engine called Helical Engine, which is now going to blow your mind away and make you feel like all your basic physics knowledge isn't actually correct. This engine was designed at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama. It is based on the exploitation of mass-altering effects, which take place at speeds close to light speed. There is no doubt that it's been met with skepticism for some quarters, but this doesn't stop Burns from doing what he wants to do. Even the skepticism faced from the people around him, he believes his concepts have the force required to make them work. While mere claims cannot prove anything, let's get into the design and see how it actually aims to work. To picture it all, first of all imagine a box in your mind. The box is placed on a surface that has no friction to offer. Inside the box, a vertical rod is available around which a ring can slide. Now picture a spring in the box which gives a push to the ring. The effect of this would be that the ring will slide along the rod in one way. The box will recoil in the other direction. Bouncing backward is what would happen to the ring if it reaches the end of the box. The recoil too would then take place in the opposite direction. This is basically action and reaction, which is based on Newton's third law of motion. Number 1. Burns' Idea While Newton's law has been there since forever, Burns has questions regarding it. He raises the point regarding the mass of the ring discussed above. He says, what if the mass of the ring is much greater when it moves in one direction than the other? This would lead to the box getting a greater push at one end as compared to the other. This would mean that action would exceed reaction and the box would move forward. Now, this is where the laws of physics come in again. The change of mass is not prohibited by physics and is supported by Einstein's theory of special relativity. This theory aims to clarify that objects tend to gain mass as they're set in motion towards the speed of light. Burns' idea is to replace the ring with a circular particle accelerator. The ions would be accelerated to relativistic speed at one stroke and decelerated at the other. Moreover, Burns thinks that it would be a better approach to ditch the box altogether. According to him, the lateral accelerator should be used for the circular as well as lateral movement. The shape of the accelerator should be similar to that of a helix. The size of it should be big as well. This means that it would be 12 meters in diameter and 200 meters long. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the latest updates and notifications. Thank you!